G'day guys, I wanted to do a video on how to flash the FreeSky D4R2 with the 27 uh, millisecond software so that you know you can actually get a true 8 channel receiver out of this by um, enabling the CPPM mode. So to be able to do that uh, I needed to make a little cable interface to my FTDI. So this is a basic FTDI that I bought off eBay for a few bucks. Um, I've done some other videos with it. It's capable of 3.3 and 5 volt um, through the jumper here. And <clears throat> what I've done is I've gone and selected the 5 volts because what I'd like to do is use the uh, FTDI or draw out of the USB port the 5 volts um, so that I can actually power the receiver at the same time. So what you'll notice here is from the pins I've actually got these two dedicated wires the red and black um, running from the ground and the plus 5 volts and they run to the ground and the 5 volts of I think this is port 3 um, you can use port 3 or port 4 so um, I just followed red to positive and black to negative simple as that then the other connection that we need to do is the receive transmit and the ground again uh, there is a cable that comes with the unit and what I did was I just pulled the connectors off and I've gone and soldered uh, three more connectors to those existing cables. Simple as that. And I connected them up to DTR, receive and transmit. So don't forget when you do connect this up that the ground wire off of the receiver needs to go to DTR. So it can do the, um, uh, what do you call it, the, the timing function on sending the uh, data. And then it's just a matter of taking the transmit off the receiver and putting it into the receive on the FTDI. So that's my green cable here and vice versa for the other connection. So I've got the receive as my white cable here and I go into the transmit of the FTDI device. So just to recap, I've got the black in the ground port going to the DTR. The green is my transmit on my receiver going to the receive on the FTDI. The receive, which is the Y cable, goes to my transmit. And I've got my 5 volts and my ground out of this FTDI going to the plus, the plus and the minus on the receiver and that gives me the connectivity that I'm going to need uh, so that I can actually do the flashing. If you get this right um, you'll see a, a sequence of numbers when you go and connect in through the tool and you know that then uh, this FTDI device is actually talking to your uh, FreeSky receiver correctly. Alright let's go and uh, flash the software. So before we can actually use the FTDI to flash the software to the uh, receiver itself. We need to change the behavior of the FTDI. Uh, to do that I downloaded a program called FTProg. Um, the URL for that is um, in the description field again and it's just a matter of clicking on that and I went ahead and, and installed that program. So we'll just kick that program off. We're presented with um, this page here. First thing we need to do is read the device. So we can do, we need to do a scan and pass. Um, if everything is working correctly you'll actually get an output exactly like this uh, where it's gone and interrogated the hardware and got all the, um, the, the settings that are inherent into it. Now we'll need to go to the hardware specific portion of of the program and the invert RS-232 signals because that's exactly what we need to do. We actually need to set this up so that it's actually inverted. Um, in this case I've already uh, have my device configured but uh, we need to select the invert transmit and invert receive. So you select those two by clicking on them and then uh, you need to save that back to the device. So you go to device and you hit program. Uh, that brings up this little window here and uh, it's as simple as just hit the program button and then off it goes and it's, it's programmed the device. Simple as that. Okay, let's flush the software to the D4R um, receiver. So I downloaded the zip file from 
tree sky and I've extracted it and if we drill down to there we'll find that um, there's a free sky update application software so we'll just kick that off um, I've already plugged in my FTDI and uh, it's come up as comp 14 so we'll, what we'll do is select the file so I'd I probably did that a little bit quickly. It's just the D4R CPPM 2.7 build, which comes with the zip file. So we'll just select that. And it's as simple as, all we need to do is hit the download button. The important thing was that there was a set of numbers here. So as long as you get that set of numbers, you know that your um, device is actually uh, configured correctly. So let me just show you that again. So without the numbers, it just doesn't work. So as long as you get those numbers that uh, were present before, uh, you'll have no problems with uh, sending the, the file down to the receiver itself. So once you're all done, it's just then select end and you're done. Just unplug everything and uh, don't forget to, one, reset the jumpers if you want to run CPPM mode so that uh, they're across the signal wires on port three and four. And if you would like uh, to run the uh, FTDI for some other application, don't forget to go back to uh, the tool and set the inverse uh, functionality back. So as I said before, don't forget to drill back into this section, uncheck the two inverted files and uh, set that back to the device by hitting program and uh, we'll go program again. So let's finish programming. And we can just do a scan and pass again of it just to make sure that that has been saved and it has. So that FTDI device will be ready to go for uh, its next voyage. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you found this useful. And uh, if you do, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.